Hi, it's Casey D, and you're watching Why Tell Me Why. This is Drama. I love you too, my puppy. And we are answering your questions this week. We want to find out why dogs have wet noses. You know? We know. We have the answer for you. The dog's noses are actually wet because the excess tears that their eyes produce drain through this thing called the nasolacrimal duct out to a little hole in the front of the nose, and that keeps the nose nice and moist. Our bodies always produce a lot of tears, a lot more tears than we need to keep our eyes moist. Those extra tears have to go somewhere. In human beings, those tears drain to the back of the throat, and we swallow them with our spit. You never even realize that you're doing it. In dogs and other animals that use a lot more of their sense of smell, those tear ducts drain down to the front of the nose and aid in keeping the nose moist. But why, you say? Who cares if your nose is moist? Well, think of it if you have spaghetti sauce. You pull a jar of spaghetti sauce out of the refrigerator and smell it. That smells pretty good. But let's say you heat that spaghetti up on the pan where there's that steam coming out, which is moisture. Mm, now you can really smell the aroma of the spaghetti sauce. Well, dogs and other animals use their senses of smell to hunt for food and to help protect themselves from predators. So this extra moisture aids in the dog's sense of smell and helps them find food and helps protect them from predators. Moist nose is also found in the cat, in the horse, in the cow, in bears and lions. A lot of animals have a moist nose. It just is something that seems to have changed in us over time. Thanks for watching Why Tell Me Why. You can email me with any questions you have, science related, at why tell me why at discovery.com. Say bye. Bye. Hi, we're the Discovery News video team, and we want your videos. Your science videos, to be exact. So if you're a student doing experiments at home, or a researcher in the field, and if you have a camera, you can capture those experiments and upload them to our website. It's pretty easy. Here's how you do it. Just go to this website below, dfc.discovery.com slash news slash sidewalk science. And if they get our Bunsen's burning, we will put them online and you will be recognized. For the mad genius you really are! That's all I have to say.